hello and what is up guys welcome to another video and in this video i will go zero and five and so i decided to post it since it will be a great reminder for me to avoid making conscious mistakes so i had actually a video where i went zero and five as well with the same team but i out of frustration i did i get rid of it <laughs> and that the losses i got there was actually much closer than the ones that you're gonna see in this video but anyways let's get into the video uh oh by the way before i continue we got a new sub i'm not sure who it is we reached five subscribers and that makes me happy every single one of every single subscribers i get it's just a joy to uh it just it just makes me incredibly happy so again thank you for such kindness and let's get into the video all right so medicham into an azu as you can see i didn't pull the trigger on the sidekick which is terrible it is it just <laughs> man it's just a noob it's just a noob uh play here and i'm not sure what's going on in my head during this session maybe because like i was super frustrated frustrated that my dodgic has been like blinded if that's the if that's the right word but we have a drop in here and i cannot go psychic or i should have wet i should have swapped immediately to <laughs> to uh mansion immediately since Oh, so dropping inside a bug type. Sorry, I was about to say that it was a bug type, but it is a poison dark. So, uh, well, another bu bubble beam is landing, but this will not do a lot. Uh, excuse me. And it was able to get off another energy, and they still have a shield. Aquatil comes in, and yeah, they're still alive. Can we win this? No, <laughs> one dragon breath and we go down <laughs> with a lot of energy so now into a skarmory uh, another bad lead i need to do a quick swap to gilderan stung fist and their answer to gilderan stung fist is a swampert but i pull the trigger on the earthquake you know baiting i don't like baiting sometimes baiting puts me at very uncomfortable situations but actually here i should have went for the rock slide you know like when your opponent have a lot of energy and they know you have moves that will KO them they are more likely to shield and that's not what I did I I went for another earthquake which is a new play it was it was super wrong it was it was but maybe there's still hope right because these hydro cannons that they're gonna throw at me will be resisted by Mantine but I decide to shield this up and I think that counts that counts as a mistake maybe because at this situation I was afraid that my health would be too low and that, since that they have no shields right maybe I could spend one and we did a successful catch to a medicham which turned out to be a superpower that is great um, yeah I was able to counter them down but they still have they come in with swampert which is interesting and they should have went in with skarmory right but anyways and i should have went for the psychic as well to guarantee the ko but uh, well <laughs> i was just not in my head at this like i said this is just a no-brainer no-brainer <laughs> it is not So Skarmory comes in and my health is about 52% and that's not gonna be enough to to be uh, to survive in this matchup but I think yeah I'm gonna fight until the end you know maybe maybe there's a way to win right but I'm gonna throw another bubble beam and if they successfully land another sky attack I think Mantin will pretty much survive it Okay, sky attack comes through and i thought i was gonna be able to get to the ice beam but it was just not enough but anyways that's gonna be a good game medicham into a mew this is a pretty bad lead 
the shadow cloth from the Mew we're setting up so I come in with Pilar and Stung Fist since like Mew could have access to Surf, Wild Charge and Flame Charge and they're rocking Flame Charge and they did a lot but I'm gonna go for the bait this time since I like I was very annoyed that people <laughs> chilled almost everything like I think the baiting like me not baiting will work when once I reach the higher ranks like when you are at the lower ranks I mean not to disrespect my opponents I am a, I am actually not I'm not an elite battler I'm, I'm average just like them and yeah and oh so now you know stuff is gone what should I come in with maybe Mantine right since they're just running flame charge and we were able to successfully bubble them down they come in with Melmetal which is pretty bad and here comes the Togekiss so I'm pretty much hard countered there but I'm going straight for that sidekick although doesn't KO and the charm damage will they remove Medigem off the floor and I'm going to bait <laughs> right I mean there's no reason to bait since maybe the fast move damage alone from the Mantine should be enough but they still have Melmetal at the back so what's the win con here? Win con here is if lag happens. Simple as that, but I <laughs> know that's super lame. It's super lame to depend on something so inconsistent and something that doesn't really occur. Something yeah, something just that's just new. <laughs> anyway, so I'm still staying in and I think I will decide to leave after. Oh, okay, so I decided to stay in. I'm gonna eat this L. Yeah, I'm gonna take it with open arms. Anyways, on to the next one. Medicham into a Marowak. Mm, actually, this is maybe an okay lead, but I may try to catch a Bone Club. Which we did successfully. Bone Club comes through. It didn't, it didn't do a lot. So, here comes Mock. Uh... I'm going straight for the ice beam just to chip the dam just to chip the health of Mok. Although that's really not I mean it could be a good idea, right? It could be. Ice beam lands. They still have a little bit they still have a good amount of health. And we CMP tie on this charge move. I'm gonna shield this up. Because I wanna win switch. Since they have who was the lead? <laughs> I already forgot. Okay, so I have like uh, an ugly brain. <laughs> oh, my right. It was my right. I'm sorry. So I come in and counter down the mock with loaded energy. I feel like about one dark pulse ready, but that's good. That's good. We got rid of it. And psychic. Yeah, it did land, but they will be able to land a move as well. I wanna uh, hold on to my shields for the Pokemon at the back. Shadow Ball lands. I think I'm gonna come in with Mantine since we kinda have some bit of energy and alright we got to a bubble beam this should KO the Marowak oh it didn't KO since I didn't went for the excellent and yeah I think I'm gonna go down here all but we could farm down with Galarian's Stockfist we could and we did we did swap we did a swap okay unfortunately we did it at the same time I think they called this a blind switch and again, I went for the earthquake. Again. And I'm gonna shield this up. And it will be a rock slide. <laughs> well, that's how it is. That's how it is. And an earthquake definitely coming through. The, the removing the Stung Fist off the floor. Man, team, can you do this? They still have a shield. Right, but we don't have a move to KO them. All I know is... We could hope for go battle lag, but it won't happen at this point since they are unleashing their charge move. And Rock Slide comes through, then we go down. I think this is the last game. Metal Jam into the Azu. Um, we Metal Jam lose like in one shield and in two shields, even in zero shields, we lose anyways. And I decide just to stay in here, you know, just to you know, make it an individual matchup, a one-on-one -on -one thing. 
So I'm gonna be able to. I think I, I should land this psychic. All right, I was able to. And yeah, I think yeah, I'm really staying in. I'm gonna shield this up since Ice Beam will KO from this range. Ice Beam lands. We got sh we, no, it, it didn't land. We shield it up. It landed the shield. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, power up punch. No shield. Great. And now I'm going straight for another power punch. That doesn't make so much sense. I know. That was really terrible. I tried to. I clicked the power punch, but anyways, it wasn't enough. And coming in with Mantin should be a good idea. Is it? Alright, so Ice Beam didn't do much. And I'm gonna try to bubble them down, which we were able to. Great. They come in with Machamp, interesting. Why though? Do they have something at the back very weak to maintain? I mean, I don't know a lot of Pokemon weak to maintain. I didn't, they didn't shield the Bubble Beam. Wow, that's crazy. I'm gonna shield this up, because I'm messed up. When they bait, they don't shield. When they don't bait, they shield. Like, come on. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna take that. We're gonna take anything. No, there's no guarantee in Go Battle League. There's no, like, like, <laughs> I cannot put it into words anyways. So, cross shop lands, and what do they have in the back? I got a stone fist. Great. Let's go. I like that. I like, <laughs> I like that. And, no, there's no way we win this. They still have two shields, and they decide to leave. It's unprecedented. But anyways, thank you for watching and if you're new, subscribe, hit the like button if you like this video and have a good day and thank you for watching.